How's it going, everyone? Here with another episode from TheBearHeads.com. I am your host, Jay. Let's get into today's review. We're going to be going to the Dogfish Head Craft Brewery out in Milton, Delaware to review their seasonal release rarity, Burn Baton. This is a 10% ABV beer, Imperial IPA, that has 70 uh, IBUs in it, you guys. Now, this beer is special right here. They actually get two uh, ale threads. It's a, um Imperial IPA they brew, and then they... Uh, brew uh, an old English ale, then they let them ferment in two separate tanks. After that, they uh, put both uh, threads together in one wooden barrel tank, and they let them um, blend together, and it builds up a, a new quality of uh, a style of beer for them. You're definitely going to pick up some citrus in there from that IPA hop, then you're going to get that well-balanced uh, vanilla from the oak barrels, and it's actually going to help balance the 10% uh, ABV alcohol on this one, so it should hide it, you guys. So without further ado, let's get into today's review, and I'll give you the uh, appearance, the aroma, the taste, and the overall verdict of what I think of Dogfish Head's Burn Baton. Alright guys, now, the appearance on this one, just straight nice, you guys. Almost looks like a West Coast IPA, real double IPA, just real solid. It has that nice East Coast color though in it too. You're definitely getting that two-finger, fluffy off-white khaki head, real tight in the bubbles. Nice amount of carbonation in the glass, sticking to the glass and also floating to the top to keep that head there. It's not uh, dissipating at all. It's really nice in this tulip glass. The color on this one is very cloudy. Definitely getting a nice orange brown, ruby red, um, citrusy orange. Sun sunset, that when the sun goes down, you get that nice dark orangish red color in there. It's just real nice, you guys. This is just a, a damn good looking beer. Head's kind of dissipating a little bit now. Uh, for 10% alcohol, I wouldn't, you know, think of it staying that long, but it actually is staying semi. There's uh, kind of subtle as well. So let's get into the aromas. Right on the aromas on the nose, I'm picking up that big citrus hop in here. Some nice vanilla from the oak barrels. Some lemon in here, lemon zest. Some grapefruits. Some big bready malt notes in here. This has that old English ale style smell too, as well. Traditional. Definitely pick some of the alcohol, but it, it, it's real hidden in here. You'd have to really pick it up. Just a damn tasting, uh, good smelling beer, you guys. So let's get into this one and cheers. All right, so we're back with the uh, taste. Now on the front of the palate, you're picking up that nice lemon zest. Middle of the palate, you're getting that nice grapefruit zest. But then it mixes in right there in the palate, and you're getting that nice oaky taste. And then the back of the palate, it just finishes off well with that nice bitterness. Um, some vanilla in there as well. Alcohol is balanced in this one, you guys. It's real balanced. It's not real alcoholic. Not too much of it in here. It's not going to be too boozy on the palate. Definitely going to get a nice alcohol taste as well. But just to that, that lemon zest, that grapefruit, and that vanilla just combines in one and it just smooths out that alcohol taste and it's real balanced. And it's not an over boozy drink, you guys. The alcohol leggings are nice on this one as well. The real healthy looking beer, you guys. Definitely a nice one from Dogfish Head. So I'm going to come back with the verdict, and I'm going to tell you what I think of Dr. Shed's Burn Baton. Alright, you guys, so I'm back now with the verdict. All i got to say is, Dr. Shed, I love your beers, and I hate your beers. But this one, I definitely love. 19 out of 20, making this one a solid A beer from Dr. Shed, you guys. Burn Baton, just a nice beer. Definitely one that's going to age nice, too. Um, comes in a four-pack, $14.99. Uh, I got another bottle of left, so that one's um, aging. Uh, definitely want to see how that tastes in about six to six months into a year. Uh, definitely worth buying another four-pack, you guys. Definitely something that is damn good to pick up again. For a price like that, I know it's expensive, but definitely something that's going to be worth aging and just damn good year-round, you guys. Too bad it's a seasonal release. It would, it would be nice if it wasn't. 
Um, so 19 out of 20, you guys. Damn great review. Been another great review, you guys. Like I always say, live, learn, and drink. Until the next time, I'm going to enjoy my beer. You guys should do the same.